Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to design a timer. So here you can see this, I have already made this and I will show you step by step. So when I click on this, this timer starts running and when I click on this, it pauses, and after that we can restart it. Okay, so before starting, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, just go and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, so for making this, uh, we have to create a new project. So I have added the new form in this project okay in this we need few things first thing is i need a text box so go to toolbox and search for text box just drag and drop it and i need few buttons so i need to button just drag and just copy and paste to replicate it and just change the font of this text box just click on this and go to properties and there you can see the font okay and in this you just click on this dot and just click 14 i'm making it large and just assign text uh, as in the timer like 00 colon 00 colon and 00 in this way and make this text in this align into the center so just click on this and just center align and after that make it read only you cannot iterate in this okay so let me just search for read only where it is so read only is false now make it true and just save it and and now change the name of this buttons let me just change this to start and its design name just change this to btn start and in the same way change for the second button so btn stop and the, that's the design name and in the text you just change to stop and we need to create few events that is first one is a button click event that is a start and just double click on this to generate a click event in the same way you need to generate a start uh, stop click event so just double click on this i need one form load event as well so here we go with the form load event and after that i need one more thing so what is that that is form leave event so just search for event and here you can see the leave event okay so let me just search for that okay so form sorry form closing event actually so search for form closing event so here you can see this is form closing event just double click on this to generate this event and now let's start with the coding okay so first what we need to do is we need to just create the we need to write this system dot timer dot time or and just take a variable t and after that i need three variables of int type that is for hour minute and seconds and after that we need to code on this form load event okay so form to load event in this load event i want that t is equals new system timer dot timer and after that i need t dot interval is equals 1000 okay so it's actually in milliseconds so 1000 millisecond is equal to one second okay and after that p dot is kept and just plus and equal to concatenate concatting with it on time event on time event so it's you have to actually manually type it and after that you just need to click on this and generate a method stub for on time okay so just click on this here you can see this on time event uh, stub is generated and this you have to write just remove this line of code and after that you need to write invoke and in this invoke you have to write new action and in action you have to actually just keep 
uh, so this is of white type and after that you need to just put arrow like this and just curly process and start and close it and this you have to check you have to check as s plus and equal to that is incrementing the second is equal to one and if s is equal to is equal to 60 that means if second is 60 then increment then first thing make that second zero and increment minute by one okay in the same way do for the uh, actually minute if m is equal to equal to that is 60 then what we need to do is just sorry here we have one extra is equal so just replace it and after that you just need to type like this if then m is equal to 0 and h plus equals 1 okay so now we have to pass the string to the text box okay so text box name is text box 1 i have not changed it and for that i am assigning a text into the string format okay so timer actually have format so that i am passing this in the same format as it accepts so just change let me show you which format you have to type and in this format you have to type just double quotes and after that like this and just close in this in between this you have to just pass the colon and in between this you have to pass 0 1 and 2 and after that just comma and just h dot to string and just pad it pad left and in this you have to pass 2 comma and after that in the same way for minute and seconds just copy this let me just copy this and paste this and change this m h to m and in the same way for one more time and just, and just change this h to yes and after that we need to do is just close this bracket here you can see this this is open so just okay so it's closed actually and uh, these brackets are open here you can see this these two brackets are open so just close these two and put the semicolon so after that you need to do one thing is that that when you click on this button start you want to start the timer so p dot start okay so just type p dot start and semicolon in the same way when you want to stop the timer you just need to enter t dot stop the semicolon and when this form closes what we need to do is we need to stop the timer that is t dot stop and one more thing we need to do is application application dot do events and now let me just start this so to make it look cool I let me just set color for this text box so let me just set color for this text box okay so for add for add color where it is for color let me just set it to green okay so it will look nice and just start it shit man i have set the color for buttons okay so sorry for that sorry i have set the color for windows just click on this for color just select this and custom and green just start it and let me just start it here you can see this now timer is working but i don't know why this color is not changed so i will let me just fix this just stop this and click. so that's because we are setting the text uh, from these events okay so i want that when i click on start the back color of this text box turn into green and when i click on stop it's turn into red so how to do that 
just go to the button click event and when you start this now let me just write this text box one dot back color this equals color dot light green let me just select this light green okay and when i drop this so text box one dot back color let me just set to color dot light pink because there is no light red in this so just save it and just start it and you will see the difference so when you click on this it starts and the background color is also set green and it's also green so and when you stop this okay so this background color is also changed sorry four color is also changed so let's just change this to black and just start it and you can see when I click on this now background color is green and it's working fine when you stop it it becomes red so now it's working very fine to see it very clear just change this intervals this decrease this interval to 10 milliseconds and it started and now when you click on this it will run very fast and here you can see this now minute second is minute second everything is working fine so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and for more videos just go and check out my playlist